Hi teachers, it's Matthew from Griffith Education Enterprises and in this video series, 1% Better, Teaching Tips That Add Up, I'm going to show you three essential Microsoft Excel hacks that I cannot live without. With that said, let's get started. Number one, drop down lists. Drop down lists are a great way to quickly enter in data. Here is how we configure Microsoft Excel for drop down lists. First of all, you need to type out your desired list. I recommend writing this underneath the column that you want the list to apply to. Highlight the desired columns, click on the data tab, then click on data validation, and then data validation again. In settings, you want to change allow any value to allow a list. Make sure you then click on source here. Select the things that you would like to appear in the drop down list and press OK. After doing that, now you'll see an arrow to the right hand side of the cell. All you need to do is simply click on that and then you'll have the list that you can actually choose from and enter in the data as you desire. If you ever want to clear the data that you've entered, all you need to do is press on the data tab, go back to data validation, data validation again, then press clear all. And now that data's been cleared. Excellent. Number two, color fill. So here's how we configure Microsoft Excel so the cell will change color in response to a text. Click on the Home tab, select the cells or the columns that you would like to respond to the color change, then click on Conditional Formatting, and then Manage Rules. From here, we want to then press on New Rule. Then we want to go from, now we want to go to format only cells that contain. Down here, we want to change the cell value into specific text. Keep containing. Now we're going to select the cell source. In, each, in this case, that's yes. Click back over here and then go to format. Now you want to select the color fill that you wish. Now when we type in something, the color will change automatically. I love to use drop down lists and color fill for any checklist that I need to keep as a teacher. This is particularly useful for keeping track of forms and you can quickly gauge how your class is going with handing back their notes. Number three, color scales. My final hack for Microsoft Excel is using color scales. This feature is incredibly useful for tests and determining at a glance how your classroom is going. Here is how we enable a color scale. First of all, we click on the Home tab, select the columns or the cells you would like to respond to the color scale change. We then click on Conditional Formatting, go to New Rule. We want to keep format all cells based on their values. Down here, we need to change the two color scale to a three color scale. For me, I like to change the type all to number. For example, if I was using this to determine a color scale for my sound waves tests, I would like to keep zero as the minimum, the midpoint about 18, because I want my students to have a high test score before the color starts changing, and the maximum is 25. And then click on OK. Then when you enter in the scores, you will see that they respond accordingly to the color scale that you've allocated. So now you have three essential Microsoft hacks that will improve your productivity. I would love to know how you went with your conditionally formatted cells, so let me know down in the comments. If you are on the hunt for more educational resources like websites, iPad apps, YouTube videos and channels, then head over to my website Griffin Education Enterprises. You can also head over to my TPT store for more free content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Griffin Education Enterprises. I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching. Ciao.